Hey guys, I'm Dubai Soap here, and today I want to talk about iOS 10.3.3 and why you should definitely consider updating to the latest version of iOS released yesterday. iOS 10.3.3 security logs indicate that Apple did fix minor issues with contacts, messages, and notifications. One of the biggest flaws that was fixed with iOS 10.3.3 was visiting a malicious website could potentially lead to website spoofing. What does this mean? Well, any website that is malicious, trying to take your personal information, your personal data, could disguise themselves and make themselves look legitimate. So you can input uh, you know, credit card information, personal information on a website that has that little lock up at the top there that makes it look legitimate, and it spoofs itself, and it's really not, and then it could take your personal information. So any browser like Safari or any other WebKit-based browser could put your personal information at risk. So updating to 10.3.3 definitely fixes the spoofing of address bar. iOS 10.3.3 also takes care of very important exploits on the Wi-Fi chipset built into iOS devices. When a Wi-Fi uh, is detected or your iOS device is looking for a Wi-Fi network, a user can potentially gain access and complete control of your iOS device. Of course, you have to be a really advanced security researcher and hacker to do this, but you never know who's around you. And that should be enough incentive for anyone to update to iOS 10.3.3. Now, I know jailbreakers are going to want to stay away from 10.3.3 in hopes of a jail break on 10.3.2 or below or even 10.3.3 who knows but I just feel like I have to tell you everything there is in terms of security improvements and enhancements to the operating system because it's very important uh, for you guys to know why these updates and security patches are being released so if you want to update just make sure you go to general software updates and you'll get prompted here and just go ahead and update your iOS device again if you want to jailbreak try to stay away from 10.3.3 but keep in mind those types of flaws are currently out there for those who are intending to jailbreak and not wanting to update to 10.3.3 3.3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this information helpful. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.